Hi all. We're going to hook up a switch. This is a, a net gear switch. I got it at uh, Office Mac, Office Depot for like uh, 40 bucks. Uh, it's so I can hook up eight computers. Okay. If you watched the previous video, we hooked up this guy. It's a Motorola router. See if we can get the number here. SBG6580. Okay. So my cable internet comes into the back of here. Okay, my cable internet comes into the back of here. That it looks like a regular cable TV wire. And then all the computers plug into here. One, two, and I have four plugs. One, two, three, four. Well, four is not enough. You can see I got one computer here, one over there, and one over there, and a laptop over there, and I got a few upstairs. So four is not enough. So that's why I got this switch. Okay, it's real easy to hook up. There's a simple power cable here. Now, always mark your power cables because if you lose track, you don't know which power supply goes with which. So, this just goes into here, like that. Okay. And then this plugs into any old plug. It used to be when you plugged one of these into your router, you had to make sure you picked the right hole, the right port. But now it doesn't matter. Uh, that's what they mean by, uh, I, I think they call it auto sensing or something like that. Here it says auto uplink. It doesn't really matter which one you plug it into. Uh, I would say use this one, number eight, because it's just easier to keep track. You know, you plug one, in, one computer here, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you go out and buy a switch, here's a switch, make sure you get a gigabyte switch. When you buy a switch, make sure it's a gigabyte switch. And that just means 1,000 speed. Okay? Because if you have a gigabit router, you know, if you have a 1,000 speed router, and then you put a slow switch on it, you're going to be paying for that extra speed for nothing because the the old switch will slow it down. Okay? So this up here is 1,000. This up here is 1,000 speed. This here is 1,000 speed. Okay? So then you're getting the speed that you're paying for through whatever company you go through, Time Warner or the telephone company. So another thing is, when you buy the cables too, make sure you get Cat6 cables. Because these cables can ha handle the higher speed too. If you use old cables, the old cables are only 100 speed. So you'll have a thousand here, a thousand here, and you got a hundred here. Well, that old cable is, is going to slow it down. So I usually get these cables at Home Depot now. They're they're real cheap. They're only a couple bucks. So I always go with Cat Six. Salesman might try to sell you Cat Five E. Cat Five E's would be fine for a while, but everything's moving to Cat Six and. I heard even Cat 7 is coming out. That's just the speed of the cable, what the cable can handle. Okay, so I just bought a short one because this, this box has to get a connection from this box. I'm just going to plug this into the back of the router here. Okay, you can see here I have an empty spot. So it doesn't matter which spot, so I'm just going to plug that into here. 
If I plug it in the right way, we'll be all set. Okay, so, and then, then we have to plug in the power. Okay, and I'm gonna plug the power into my, my box here in the back. Okay, now I've got an empty spot on my box, right? But it won't fit in there because this is too big. So that's where these short cables come in. It's just a small extension cord. You get like a pack of three at Walmart for five bucks. So that just goes into here. And then this goes into the box. So these come in handy for air conditioners or anything else that you might plug in all around the house. Okay. So then, you know, just, to, just to follow through with the rest of it, I've got these, these cables here. And these are also Cat 6 cables. And you can see I got them labeled so I know which is which over there. So uh, one goes into here. And one goes into here. See, and now I still have, what, what's that, five empty spots I can plug more computers into. I only had four with this box. I used up one because I had to connect this one to this one, but I got three on this box and I got seven on this box. I got a, a total of 10 cables now. So that's probably the cheapest way out. You know, if you bought a router with eight plugs, it, it's a small fortune. You're probably talking two, three, four hundred bucks or more. So, you know, I bought this box used for 50 bucks. I bought this box for like 40 bucks or even less at the office store, so. Okay, see ya. Bye.